getting ready to walk over here and grab get these cars. So it's about a half a half a mile away. It ain't that far. But uh I'm gonna walk over here. And I think I'll be alright. I'm gonna leave these cars here. My truck is locked up. No one's gonna bother it. Let me see. Make sure. <clears throat> Everything's locked up. these two cars hello 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 hey man look I, I don't even think I can get that truck down there so I'm just gonna walk I parked over in front of the Harley Davidson I'm gonna walk over here I'm gonna walk and go get your cars man I wish you would have see we didn't know I didn't know I was, th I was thinking man damn man if you could have brought those cars over here and, and just ask those people in a Harley Davidson motorcycle shop but it's too late that's okay you know so question yeah yeah it's not that far I got a question uh did you let any of your neighbors know that a black man's finna come over there and get your cars <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. Okay. What, what's your name? Ooh. You guys pack like that? Whew. Okay. Okay. You guys. Hell, trying to move. Come on. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the cars and just bring them over here. And uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. You can call, you, you can call, yeah, you can call me. Or call my company. Yeah, either or. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that's how you do it. You you you, you get you go directly to the guy. Yeah, just call me or call my company. Either or. Yeah. What? Okay. Well, I'll make sure you get it. Oh. Make sure I got the right house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see how I go. Keep them cammed up. Stay cammed up. Residential pickup. No, I would never be able to get that fixed. <laughs> Stick you with this battery. I slap you inside the head with this battery. I swear I would. Jump that fence.
and a half a mile to go get these cars. Almost at the car. Almost at the car. So look, that's what I'm saying. Like if you're doing something like this, the things you need to ask, if you are like residential and the customer, the customer is already gone, right? They had left the car. I said they left the cars in a situation like I'm in. The questions that you need to ask them before you go get those cars you need to have a specific place where the keys are at only you and the customer knows uh another thing you need to ask ask them to, uh if they can let your neighbors know let their neighbors know that you're coming to get those cars so you don't have no problems because today and how the day is you know people shoot normally shoot and then ask questions later and then me, you know, you see, you see what color I am? You see that? You see that? But that ain't got nothing to do with it. People are funny, you know, especially like in places like Florida. But you ask, ask them to notify their neighbors if they can. Now, if they got any dogs in the neighborhood, you need to know that, you need to know about that. Cause I had that, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, that's about it, you know? But you gotta, and then like, right, right before you actually pick up the car, before you walk on a property, property or old property, call them and actually have them on the phone, which just in case, you know, you never know. So I'm transporting these cars to my truck just making sure everything is okay. It's nothing like really out of way that I need to take pictures right now. But uh, I want to get out of here because I'm not in my and my uh, not by the truck, so I look weird. I got this shirt on, got these pants, on, and uh, it doesn't look it doesn't look right. Uh, but we know. It's business. It's the neighbor. It's business, but you know, you just gotta make sure. And here's another thing, too. Like if you want to get it, if you're going to get some a car, right? And it's a residential car. Do not knock on a, nobody's door. They have to me this is me i do not knock on people's door because i don't want to knock on the wrong door and then something happen you see that's bad that can be all bad for me so i do it like that do not knock on the neighbor's door the people's door that you're trying to get the car from you make sure you call them you know or if you gotta knock on the door make sure they know ahead of time that, th that you're gonna be knocking on that door you know oh, he's good hey, you gotta let them know ahead of time and that's how that worked so i'm gonna take this car back to my truck and i'm gonna take pictures at my truck before i put it on my truck Anything that I see that's damaged, it's, I'm marking it. Even if I don't, if even if it looked like something, like a damage, or if I don't know what it is, I mark damage. You know, it might be a, a, a splash of mud on there, but I'm not finna start rubbing the car off and see if it's a scratch or, or, or is that a scuff mark? I just mark damage anyway. You know, that's what I do. 
Taking these cars over here to the uh, owner to the truck, and I'm gonna load this this up. But those are some short tips, you know, just a little something to be aware of. And then me and that big semi truck wouldn't have never made it on that street. I could have got on that street, but it would have been, you know, I just don't trust it because it's a small street. You know, and I'm not trying to have any problems loading these cars up. I just want to get these cars on the truck and then, uh, you know, keep it, keep it going, man. I ain't got to worry about nothing. So, I'm gonna put these on and everything good. I'm gonna take pictures. Okay. I'm gonna take extensive pictures, especially doing it like this. You never know. See this car got hell damage on on top of it. I gotta mark I gotta mark all that. Everything I see. Damages, scratches.